Hi everyone, I'm Kylie Ambu and we're here at the Kalamazoo Institute of Arts Fair in Bronson Park. There are dozens of unique artists out today. We're talking with a few about what makes their craft so special. Let's go. I'm here right now with Richard Franklin from Richard Franklin Fine Arts. Now yes, I know that you are a painter yes. and I know that you're from Texas. Yes, what's, what's a Texan doing here at a Kalamazoo Art Fair? Well, I didn't come straight from Texas. Okay. I did several shows en route to here, one in Indiana, one in Missouri, several in Tennessee, okay. several in uh, Florida. So it's kind of like a route, yeah. a circuit that I do in order to get here. But I was here last year, so we did so well, we wanted to come back. Oh, we're happy to have you back in Thank this you. area. It sounds like a, a traveling circus, though, going from place to place to place, setting up tents. Is that the life of an artist? Somewhat, yes. Actually, it literally is that way. For us, we're full-time RV which means we have our RV and I have an area in the back of my RV that is dedicated specifically to art. So I basically paint while I'm in the RV and then when we get to different shows, we know, of course, we take out all the work and it's kind of like a circus where we go from town to town and uh, display our work and sell our work. But I'm seeing like faces. I think there's a Ben and Jerry's uh, pint of ice cream that you painted. Where do you yes. get the inspiration for what you paint? Uh, Americana. Basically anything that we all can relate to. Basically um, it has a, a huge, sort of southern feel to it um, as well. And, and the reason why I do that is because I want to give people something to, to smile about. I want to give people something to look at that they can be nostalgic about, something that we can all relate to. We all, everybody loves Ben & Jerry's ice cream. So basically what I do is, and those are pop art, um, the rest of it, um, things like this or that, is called expressive realism. And it, there's a, a long history of, of uh, artist painting in that style too. Um, Thomas Hart Benton, Ernie Barnes, Richard Franklin. Um, and basically <laughs> what it does right? is, is, yeah, exactly. I like her. Um, basically what it is, is a, a playful way to look at art. You know, something that's kind of lighthearted. Again, something that we can relate to, something that um, in this sense has like sort of a nostalgic feel to it. Like if you look at the jacks up there, you know, that's kind of like an old school kind of thing that people used to play with, kids used to play with back in the day. The clamp on skates, you know, whatever's gonna give you that, that sense of nostalgia, you know, that's gonna make you, again, make you smile, make you think of happier times. That's what I try to do. I try to make my work give you a reason to sort of think back on better times, think back on, on fun times. You know, I'm big on things that, you know, kind of guide you in the direction that's gonna make you happy. That's basically what it's about. Wonderful. Well, you definitely have a, a proud patron in me and you made me smile today well, and you've you. uplifted my time. So thanks so much for chatting You're with me You're very, today. very welcome. Support for Kalamazoo Lively Arts is provided by the Irving S. Gilmore Foundation, helping to build and enrich the cultural life of greater Kalamazoo.